hi everyone welcome back to engineer tech up channel so in this video we will discuss ust global interview question and answer for automation test engineer experience three to five year okay so let's move in the first question the first question is tell me about yourself if you are watching my tutorial and this question is repeated sometime they will ask you can you tell me about your profile your roles and responsibility your total year of experience so accordingly you can uh, try to answer them okay but if someone will ask you tell me about yourself so just keep tell me about yourself very short okay so what the important thing you have to highlight your name your current organization where are you working your total year of experience or your relevant experience in manual and automation then your uh, skill set what is your primary uh, skill set what is your secondary uh, skill set then your current project in which like uh, in which application you are working the domain if you are working in the automation right so explain a bit about your uh, framework like what the activity you are doing like roles and responsibility these are the things you have to highlight uh, for project you have to not explore much here just give some overview i'm working in the e-commerce domain i'm using the hybrid framework like that okay but if they will ask you can you explain the product uh, sorry project then you can just go in the depth and you can explain the project okay next question what are the different types of hdlc models right software development life cycle so many of them are uh, confused so suppose you are getting the call for the automation and many of them they have asked the same question uh, are they are asking any software testing means manual concept or not definitely they will ask you right you are a manual tester you are a tester you should have a knowledge of you know testing concept as well so brush up your manual part as well it, not like that they will ask only automation questions uh, right they will ask you the manual testing question as well okay so hdlc it contains three phases requirement or initial phase i have uploaded uh, around 35 video for uh, manual testing so you can just go and watch my series in a playlist okay you will get uh, more clarity also so requirement and initial phase so we have our six phases analysis phases designing phases coding phases testing phases where we are involved and delivery and maintenance phases right so again if you want to explore more guys so follow my uh, manual testing uh, concept uh, uh, you know playlist okay another most important question guys uh, they have asked what is agile methodology so even when i uh, when i was taking the interview i asked the same question the people were completely confused okay uh, what is the agile and mostly company they are following the agile yes few of them like i work with the many clients like they're not completely following the agile but you should know if you not work in the agile environment but you should know what is the agile okay so agile is a methodology okay and in agile uh, you know what i can say we are have a small iteration and everything is like we have a update over there right day by day what we are doing and all and we have a many agile like few agile ceremony right so here we are interacting with all the stakeholder developer product owner we have a daily stand-up meeting if you have any blockers and we have a sprint planning right so we will discuss here okay so agile methodology is used in the software development and the various other field because it's offered the flexible iterative approach to project management and pro pro product development so guys i have already explained you in the real time how we are working in the agile right so we follow this iterative approach so we have a two week sprint or three week sprint right so it's not a long gap okay while delivering our uh, work right understood right and we are going to communicate to everyone okay so we are not like uh, have a some communication gap if you will go for other methodology then we have a like waterfall model right so many you know in the middle of uh, if uh, i can say if uh, your client wants to change something in the middle we cannot able to do it but in the agile we can do it okay 
so it's a big uh, topic but just i'm giving you some overview someone will ask you guys are able to tell okay so agile ceremonies so first we have a sprint planning so we have a backlog backlog is nothing but this is the task so here we are deciding who is working on the which task okay that is called a sprint planning so these session are what initiate each each sprint your team decide what working from uh, the product backlog can be completed in the time period and who will complete what task and who will be a success like successful right so until unless uh, they are assigning you the task on your name and you have to deliver on the time okay that is what and here we are also defining some a sprint uh, user story point you know how much uh, user story point do we want to complete this task so this these all the things we are discussing in the sprint planning then daily scrum uh, meeting or you can say the daily stand up meeting so in daily stand up uh, meeting so what is your progress what is your update what you are, what you have done today what what you are doing today and what you have done yesterday and any blockers are there and all so we are discussing in the uh, scrum meeting and daily stand up meeting so these uh, daily uh, check up help uh, the team stay on the track and mark the progress each morning team member discuss what they worked on yesterday and what they are doing today and what the block blocking them from the moving forward so these all the things we are going to discuss here a sprint review once you will complete your task we have a review on your task or sometime you have to demo you have to give the demo to the client and all if you are getting any feedback from the client we have to work on that okay so that is called a sprint review at the end of each sprint cycle team meet to the demo what they have shipped and get early feedback from the stakeholder and these review session can be informal so and tell session or more in formal meetings okay so mainly we are giving to the client uh, this um, you know demo if they are expecting some changes we can do it as per their feedback okay so guys we have a more question okay so uh just we have discussed three question in the part two i will discuss more question so just they have asked some question from the java and uh, selenium as well okay so in the coming session we will discuss uh selenium and java question so part two will also part two video will also come so please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so in the next video bye bye